Hello everyone, my name is Tasha and it is Wednesday and that means it's time for another Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and I will link her channel and the Goodreads group for Top 5 Wednesday down below. This week's topic is your top 5 books that you are thankful for. For my list I have different categories of being thankful for books. I have books that I'm thankful for because they inspired me or books that are just very dear to my heart or because I cherish the amazing writing so yeah just thought I would mention that. Coming in at number five is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This will come as no surprise to anyone who knows me. I talk about this book all the time. This book. This amazing book is one of my favorite books. I'm thankful for this because I can really connect with Kath about the anxiety that she feels going to college, a new place, and I don't even know how to explain this, but just reading about someone going through these kind of struggles and knowing what that feels like is so amazing. I'm pretty sure there are a lot more amazing books about anxiety out there this is my favorite. I haven't read a lot about anxiety, but maybe I should. Anyway, fangirl. Coming in at number four is A Work in Progress by Connor Franta. This is a book that I'm thankful for because it inspired me so much. I actually have a review up for this book. I will link it up there and down below if you want to check that out. I think a lot of people were a bit doubtful about him writing about his life because he's so young. That book was so inspiring about doing what you want to do with your life and following your dreams and to not give up and it was amazing and it's also really beautiful. The book features a lot of Connor's photography which I think is so beautiful so yeah I'm really thankful for this book because it inspired me in so many things. Coming in at number three is The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. This is a book I'm thankful for just because of the amazing writing and the characters. These characters are so dear to my heart and I don't know what it is about Maggie's writing but it's so amazing and magical and I don't even know. I just love it so much. Coming in at number two is the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. This book, or this entire series, I'm thankful for because it in some way fueled my love for books and reading. Since I've been a tiny child, I've always enjoyed reading and I know I've always had like favorite books and I've I know I was always reading but I wasn't like throughout my entire childhood to teenage years till now. I haven't always been reading like I have now but reading the Mortal Instruments, Mortal Instruments helped me to find so many other amazing books and also find my way into the fandom part of Tumblr which might have been a mistake, but I'm kind of grateful for it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare is my number two. And coming in at number one, I'm pretty sure is on almost everyone's list. It's, of course, the Harry Potter series. I, I would be a completely different person if it weren't for the Harry Potter series. It made me find amazing friends and bond with these friends over Harry Potter. Harry Potter is just such a huge part of my life and even though I'm not like actively fangirling about Harry Potter, Harry Potter is the number one series that I'm so thankful for. That was my top five Wednesday for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below with some series and books that you were thankful for. I would love to discuss this topic. And that was it for this video and I will see you next time. Bye!